Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Beyond Camera, where tonight we're watching the Dooku episodes of Tales of the Jedi. My first reaction, I watched episodes 1, 5, and 6 for the Ahsoka episodes. This time we're watching 2, 3, and 4. I don't know why they decided to order it this way, but I don't know. This is what I was excited to see. Back when this show was first announced, more Ahsoka, it's great. I loved it. I'm not going to make any complaints. But young Dooku? That was what really drew me in. The possibility of seeing like his fall to the dark side, a little bit more of that pre-prequel era Jedi Order information. Young Qui-Gon too. I mean, Qui-Gon as a Padawan is nuts. I'd love to see more about that. That's the real potential of this show, to give more spotlight to Jedi that haven't been given the spotlight. I react to pretty much all the new Star Wars content that comes out on Disney+. Plus. So if you want to see more of me, consider liking and subscribing. If you don't, well, I guess this video is fun. I don't know. Let's just get into it. Oh, okay. So they're flying in on a Jedi crew. Jedi... Ah, oh, shoot. I can't remember what it's called. But we should see one in live action. God, it's so weird to see them young. We'll be arriving shortly, Master. Oh, and it's so much nicer to have. Let us down well clear of the village. Oh, that's Tensions weird. Are high enough. Oh, that. I'm a little. Uh, my mind is all over the place. The ship we should see live action in Ahsoka. Dooku and Dooku's fa head being more normal shaped is nice because God, that head was angular and insane. His voice also, it's weird because I know that voice actor has voiced like several different roles in the Clone Wars. So it just feels odd, but whatever. And young Qui-Gon too. <laughs> oh, okay, so they're using that walking droid throughout the um, reaction. No, 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 not my reaction. It, throughout the episodes, which is funny to sneak it in on a couple of episodes. Also, the way that that thing just fell over in this burned area looks so much like the Ahsoka attack in episode 6. Wait, that's just a dog. What? That's not even trying to be another animal. That's just a plain old dog. <laughs> that's surprise. Where are they holding the senator's son? Okay. There you go. The senator, one you? of the senator's sons has been kidnapped. Well, one of the senators kidnapped son. They're on this faraway planet to find. It. Got it. Are you really holding your pickaxes? Like Allow me to make my intentions clear. Jedi. <laughs> That's why you're threatening him because you don't know they're a Jedi. It's like situation. you see this. I'm a Jedi. For the senator. With due respect, if you don't like him, why not elect a new senator? <laughs> That's naivete, that huh, Qui-Gon? Little Qui-Gon is so naive. Where the senator's son is. Also, it's very interesting that they're You're showing the, kidnappers. the imperial corruption. Not imperial, the republic corruption right here and now. Which is what, uh... All are. I can't finish. My point is that this corruption is what drives Dooku to leave the Jedi. Justice! I mean, before he even like gets in contact with Sidious or whatever, at least in the backstory we know, I don't know if this will, these episodes will slightly change anything. Publicly at least, Dooku breaks ties with the Jedi and the Republic because of this. <laughs> what is that thing? Another new droid to add to the list. But. Uh, and, you know, it's him talking about how corrupt the Republic is that, you know, leads to the Separatists. It's not much of an ordeal. Not compared to how these people are living. Ah, and sympathetic You are not son. aware of these conditions. I love how there's just basic wooden barn doors, but they still have to, like, slide open because Star Wars. Hey, finally fighting someone that isn't a stormtrooper or a... They're scared. They don't want to do this. This is a very Step bad situation to be in. Jedi. No. We cannot 
It's weird seeing Dooku as a good guy before no. he gets corrupted by the dark side. We serve the people of this republic. Ooh, that's an important thing the Jedi so just kind of messed up. <laughs> he lights it. Oh god, it's actually blue. That's so I weird. Not. Come on, kid. You gotta go outside. You're the only one who can even try defusing this situation. Oh, come on. The lighting, oh, the lightsaber lighting up his face. This animation is freaking amazing. And make an example. Oh, there it is. There's the dark side in him, going in for the force choke. Corruption like yours must be eradicated. Oof. Look at that. Master. That's... It's over. I don't know, not look at that. Listen to that. It's also interesting watching this because this animation is so similar to Clone Wars, but... Everyone has such unique face faces. Now it's very rare in Star in Clone Wars because for all it's a TV show, didn't have enough of a budget to animate a lot of like like unique faces for less important characters. But it's here, they did it here. It's so interesting. You're a much wiser man than I, Qui Gong Jin. Oh, he is! Thanks to your teaching. He is a- he ends up being far wiser than you, considering how you fall into the dark side. And you're a much wiser man than I am. I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. Wait, I didn't hit the same episode, right? No, it's the next episode. That's interesting, it starts the same way. Their ship, drop me out. Hyperspace. Never mind. This is Windu. Are the answers you need over? How did the senator escape? Ah, Why are you again. With these questions? The council again, the there's a senator in the mix. Return, Since we are not members of the council, we can wait. Not members of the council. So this is before Mace Windu was a member of the Jedi Council. Wow. My friend. <laughs> Choices. To go back there and relive the incident would be heartbreaking. No, or you mean entirely you suspicious? Oh, I can't go back there. We responded it's to too the heartbreaking. That's By the time we arrived, it was too late to save Master Katri. Let us be on our way. Look at that guard who just talked. There is so much character just in that face, and I love it. It's obvious that he's hiding something. Oh really, Mace Windu? I never would have guessed. You want Katri to leave. So with all those scrapes on the trees. Blaster bolts? Lightsaber strikes? I love the fact that we can see that damage there. <sighs> all I can do is talk about the attention to detail and the budget. Oh god, I love it. It happened so fast. The first, and before she could clear the area, they descended upon her. That doesn't look like descending upon her. From that, even I can tell the scene doesn't really mash up with what he's, the story's trying to upon her immediately. Yeah, but there's if nothing Master on the ship, Catherine though. Were <laughs> upon him, why are there no blast marks on your ship? Like you. Oh, again? I Going straight for the lightsaber. Dooku. The guards killed her. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, so the senator wasn't bad in this instance? Oh, we got some assassin droids. Tell us what really happened. Answer them. What the hell did you kill the Jedi for? Oh, okay. Proto separatists. Was that your son or something? I assume from your complete, your sad reaction that that's your kid. Maybe you should have thought of that before killing a Jedi. Far away Coruscant. Okay, so the Sinister was corrupt, so the guards are proto separatists and they just targeted the Jedi instead. Katri. Jedi claim peace, but mostly keep law and order for the rich and powerful. There it is. Even then, was the Jedi. Senate. She the, the Jedi have become way too interlinked with the Senate. 
and that's the things that are getting to Dooku. That's what's making him so susceptible to uh, the manipulation from Sidious. It is the only way you will truly have victory. Mm -hmm. I say that for all of us. It's, it's a thing, right? Him inspiring these people. Much of the legwork for why so many planets left the Republic and formed the Confederacy is because of Dooku. He it was a him constantly talking about how the Senate is corrupt, the Jedi, but it's because he said all those things questions. that I believe so many planets left. That we solved. You're not at the Jedi Temple, are you? Windu? No, you are. Those were. A minute? God, he looks so stupid with his long head and the fact that his I am told cloak still goes all the way down here. Master Catry's council oh, so he joins the council I right will. now. Master Jedi. Ooh, calling him Master Jedi, which so many people think is like a. Uh, I can't think. About it. It's like it's a way you're distancing self from it, yourself from it. Okay, so he's still with the Jedi in this one. Oh, in the holocron, holocron library. Wait. He's sneaking in there. He's not supposed to be in there. It, it, I'm vaguely remembering that they said only the uh, only Jedi Masters or no, the Council can go in here. Code accepted. Master Cypher Diaz. Master who now, Diaz? Oh! He's erasing Camino. <laughs> Never mind. You're not really with the Jedi anymore. <laughs> Archive Are you Dad. Master Tyrannus, not Darth Please. Tyrannus? <laughs> I never understood the stack, these library stacks. Are they supposed to be like servers? I mean, I get the lines are supposed to represent books. I'm Master Jocasta. all the excitement, Master but Jocasta. What are they actually supposed to be doing? Why gone? Yes, it would seem he has encountered a Sith Lord. Okay, so this or is after Episode One. To the Jedi High Council. Where or during Episode One. Qui-Gon Jinn always had such an active imagination, <laughs> as did you. Oh, God. A quality. Calling? Less and less in the oh, experience. yeah, yeah. Look, he fought an actual Sith. Oh, it was just an imagination, though. An active imagination? Are you kidding me? Wait. Ah, Qui-Gon. As old Qui-Gon. It's Yaddle. That's far more important. The female Yoda that disappeared episode after episode one. Suppose is to be cautious until we know more. I get caution, but sometimes just over caution. Little Yaddle. The Sith Lord. The Sith Lord. Oh, it's. Uh, I love that they revisit a location from from Clone Wars. This this a uh, tree, this garden out here that Yoda visited. And had his vision about Dooku being a good again. The funeral. See, so he's here mourning because he's uh, hold them he's dead. It's the end of Phantom Menace. Oh, this looks so familiar. This is ex of course this looks familiar. This is the exact same place where he was. He meets with uh, Palpatine many years later. It's interesting that to see him right still to doubting himself right here, which means he'll finally lose himself here, right now. Lord. Yeah, you would. You don't really stand a chance all on your own. No. You can make up for it now by bringing him to justice. I hate this. This Remember right here is another me. crucial moment. The Another Jedi point that maybe we could have prevented all the tragedy to come, Order 66, all that nonsense, right you here. If Dooku hadn't... Kill her. Oh, God. Oh, I was hoping they'd give Yaddle, like, a blue lightsaber to help her stand apart from Yoda, but fine. I like to see that she doesn't have the exact same fighting style as Yoda, but it's similar. They both have to make up for their small frames, but she doesn't seem to do as much jumping and flipping. Oh, flip. Oh, that, free, that scared me too. Oh, 
this yet again. <laughs> fall. They can't, Star Wars keeps doing this. Where you have the character who we know is going to fall to the dark side. And you have a character that's just... Pleading with them. Please, don't do this. And they fall anyway. Are you kidding? She goes out like that? Crushed by a goddamn door? Not even like... You with your own lightsaber? Ah, foof. Glad she didn't. I was not a worthy enough death for her. And again, that whole rise, my friend, the master. Same thing he did with Anakin. Already so yeah, but Palpatine doesn't want that. For what you call order. Mm hmm. Palpatine only wants control. Let me give you peace, Master Yaddle. Yep, he's gone. Okay, that was a more fitting death. More for Dooku to actually like, fall. And those were episodes 2, 3, and 4. Justice, Choices, and the Sith Lore. Which chronicled in this mini trilogy Dooku's fall to the dark side. As he, the first episode, he sees for the first time just the absolute corruption that can be found in the Republic and how the Senate is so shiny and compare the senators just to completely mistreat their people. In the second one, he sees how the Jedi through Windu, again, of all people who are so rigid to what they've become, they can't see like this the right and wrong. They can't see that it's like something else is wrong here that we actually need to do, right? Do. And the last one, well, that's it. He fell. That kill, you, the first kill you make to seal the deal. Yes, I am. I am on this path now, and I'm not turning back. I said a lot throughout the reactions, but Dooku's ideals are not fake. Despite in Clone Wars, you can see there's a very large gap between the Separatist people and what they think they're doing. And the Separatist armies, which are just, you know, Palpatine playing both sides of the chess game. Oh, the, Sith, the Separatist armies, the droid army, they're evil. They're, sh they're just straight up evil. They're not even trying to pretend otherwise. Separatist people in the end don't know that. Right? We, there's a Senator Mina Monteri. Before she dies, she idolizes Dooku. And this is why. This idealism he has, the fact that this, like, step in, being, blah, 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 sorry, what I'm trying to say is that he's willing to step out and say that, yes, look, the senators are clearly corrupt. This isn't working, the system. Something needs to be done about it. Unfortunately, he went to the dark side to do that. He was not wrong, but it's all just Palpatine's a game. Even... Like I said, the Separatists left largely because for years and years after Dooku left the Jedi Order, he used his position, his high standing, to project these ideas that we should leave. The Republic is terrible, and if they're not going to, the Senate isn't going to help us, then we should leave and make our own government and do it better. That's where he started, and it also makes Dooku just a little bit more sympathetic because those ideals weren't just real and they were just manipulated by Palpatine. It's like, well, I can use that because the separate blah, 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 if I use the separate, it's a long ass plan, but it's Palpatine's plan. <laughs> He's just that million steps ahead chess player right there. Especially the final episode, which takes place during episode one. It's inter it's great to see that those events are important for him as well. Right, we didn't see him because he was meeting with Palpatine and killing Yaddle. That's something, that's one of these, the reasons I love such expanded things like this, because now, whenever I rewatch that movie, I'm watching this next, and I'm reminded of the fact that 
Yeah, okay, everyone's sad. Qui-Gon's dead. Oh, yeah, also, Gatla's getting murdered. <laughs> like, over there. That when Obi-Wan is searching for where the hell did Kamino get erased? I don't have to just know he did it. I've seen him sneak into the library and delete those coordinates myself. It's exactly what I wanted out of this anthology series. Just this little short... It's a short little thing. Like what? 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 18 minutes, uh, 18, well, 17 minutes. Cut, removing like the minute of um, credits at the ending. Right? It's like a 45 minute, 45, 50 minute episode in itself. That's it. And I'm fine with that. I loved, I loved it. And I, I'm again, I need to see more. Genuinely, this could become one of the best things Star Wars has on its own. Just put more time into this. I mean, Dave Filoni doesn't have to be the director and writer in all the roles that the credits show him to be, right? He has three or four roles. He doesn't have to do all of that. Like, you can let other people write the stories a little bit, but let us see more stories. Let us learn more about these Jedi. Like, and you don't even have to do prequel area. You could go so far back you could do all you want hey it's me i want the high republic tales of the jedi episodes come on the potential of this series is skyrocketing i really hope that dave filoni just just toss it as like hey i had this idea this random idea project right let's you don't have to run it dave let someone else take it do you right like the same way that george lucas let Dave Filoni have, like, um, control over Clone Wars, but then was the fi had final say, Dave Filoni did the same thing. Let someone else have control over this. Or really lean into the anthology and let different people write different Jedi stories. And you are the final say of what's good or what's bad. It's You could do that. It would be so much better. Not better. You could... Blah, blah, blah. I, my, I have too many ideas in my head and they're just kind of like mixing up. It would be great. It would be a huge... Uh, it would be so much fun. It would add so much to just, you know, the history of Star Wars. Especially for people like me who look at the comics and look at the books and... I don't know. None of those really give me the same feeling as watching Star Wars. In my head, Star Wars is something you just watch or, you know, play video games <laughs> if they're good if they're good enough. But it doesn't really give me the same feeling having reading words than actually seeing. If it's not obvious after that whole rant, Tales of the Jedi was great and it needs to be continued. And I want it to be like a high priority to be continued. Because you could do so... I'm not going to repeat myself, right? <laughs> I was about to repeat myself. You don't need to hear it again. I loved watching this, and I loved seeing Dooku's Descent into Darkness on these three episodes. If you, like I said at the beginning, I watch a lot of Star Wars stuff. You know, so consider checking out some more of it. You know, I'll... Thank you so much for watching this, at least, and the Ahsoka episode, episodes, if you watch my reaction to that. I appreciate you coming along on the journey with me. I hope you enjoyed. Over here is the next reaction where that comes out. Over here is a... There's no Rex direction. What am I talking about? Over here is whatever YouTube decides to show you. Over here is a playlist of my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.